How are you, man? I'm good. We have different uh, the contrast, right? <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, I'm so jealous right now. Where is that? I'm in I'm in uh, the archipelago uh, outside of Stockholm. We have like a weekend house here, so I take these little strolls. Oh my god, that is beautiful. And the birds chirping in the background. No, right? <laughs> All right, let me know whenever you're ready and we can start recording here. All right, here we go. Coming down in three, two, one. Steve Angelo, it is an absolute honor having you on the show. Welcome to America's Dance 30. Thank you so much. Uh, let me be the last person to congratulate you on the rebirth of Swedish House Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels great. You know, it's like, it's such a pleasure just being back and just seeing the, the fan reactions and like, just us being back together, it's like, it, it's a blessing. It's so crazy. It seems like just yesterday, I remember being at the farewell show at Ultra, like 75,000 people there. We're standing next to that Heineken viewing area amongst the crowd. Yeah. And a fight breaks out in the middle of the crowd. And we're all looking at each other like... How are you going to do this right now with Swedish House Mafia on stage? <laughs> they were, there were probably emotions, you know. <laughs> Sometimes people can't control their emotions and they, they kind of run wild, you know. It's just unbelievable. Now, is it weird being back together or does it feel like it should have never ended? You know what? The, the weird part is that it feels like we never ended. You know, when we got back in the studio, it was like, I'm seeing them, you know, Hey, we wrapped up a weekend. Let's meet in the studio on Monday, you know, but it's been like six, seven years. So, I mean, it's just great. You know, we had, we, we've had such a journey together and we've done so much historical stuff that like, you know, it means a lot to continue the journey and like, uh, just keep on doing what we do, you know, and have fun and, and make music we love and share it with the fans. Well, thank you guys for getting back together. It's what we all needed. Congratulations on the new album. Congratulations Thanks. on the tour. Congratulations on the incredible success of When Heaven Takes You Home. That is so incredible. Thank you so much. It's such a beautiful song. And it means a lot to us. You know, that was like, it was such an important song for the album because it was so uh, in tune with the emotions. So for us, it's, just seeing that fly, is, it means a lot to us. Well, before we talk about the song and how it was born, let's get to know Steve Angelo and Swedish House Mafia a little better with a feature called Finky's Firsts. Okay. Do you remember the first conversation that you, Axwell, and Sebastian had about forming Swedish House Mafia? Yes. We started to do shows together, you know, all of us were like young and, and, and exciting and like, you know, things were happening and we just played shows. And then all of a sudden we were like, maybe there's a name for what we're doing here because we hadn't made music together. So we actually started playing shows together before we actually made music. Well, speaking of those shows, you know, you've got the world tour kicking off the end of July. Do you remember the first Swedish House Mafia show you guys did together? Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Uh, the first show was a small one in uh, a city outside of Stockholm, two-hour drive. It was like 50 or 60 people. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that was like, what, that's like end of the 90s, you know, beginning of the 2000s when we played together. And it was, the, the, the party was called Swedish House Mafia. I would love to talk to those 50 or 60 people to see what they think now. <laughs> uh, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's like when you talk to your teachers when you grow up. They were like, we knew they were going to be successful. <laughs> now, do you remember the first Steve Angelo show you ever did? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I used to play. I, I, I started very young, right? So I started like scratching and playing breaks in hip hop when I was about 11, 12. So I used to play at basketball tournaments, uh, street tournaments when I was a kid. So I used to stand there and scratch and play hip hop. And then uh, my first show show was in a, a teenager club. It was called uh, Free Suset. And that was for like, for kids, basically. And it was like a proper nightclub, but it was for kids. 
Um, so I started out very, very young. Again, I would love to talk to some of those kids now and see what they're thinking. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. was Swedish House Mafia the first name that you guys came up with, or were you guys almost called something else? We were. Here's the funny story. Well, we were. We were. There was a forum in Sweden, a, a web forum, and we were. We were very passionate about things, and there was a lot of people nagging on these forums about artists that came and played in Stockholm and so on and so forth. And we were so excited about people actually coming to Stockholm, so we we made a really harsh post, and we ended it as Swedish House Mafia, as like more of like a police thing, you know. So uh, they had kind of formed from the forum. That's incredible. Now, uh, the Swedish House Mafia and IKEA collab is going to drop later this fall. Steve, do you remember the first place that you lived in when you moved away from home? And did you own a beanbag chair? <laughs> uh, yeah. you know, yeah, I do remember. Yeah, it was a small apartment. It was like probably like 350 square feet, you know, just a studio. Um, and I did own everything I had was from Ikea. You know, we used to hack all their furnitures all the time. We bought desks for office desks and converted them to uh, recording studio desks, you know. So Ikea runs deep with us, you know. It was like... The first entry, you know, but there was nothing that was ever designed for the lifestyle we lived. So that's why we wanted to take on the task and kind of make something for the kids. And some of the stuff that you guys have already posted looks amazing. So I can't wait for it to come out. Now, finally, in Finky's Firsts with your smash, Heaven Takes You Home. If you could make someone small to put in your pocket to take when you go, who would be the first person you would make small? I would probably like shrink my whole family, you know, <laughs> just bring, you know, it's, that would make life a lot easier for us when we're out for months, you know? See, my brain, I just go right to my cats. I would love to shrink my cats down to just have them with me all the time. Yeah. But that's my family, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's talk When Heaven Takes You Home. How was the song born with Connie Constance? Um, we were in LA and doing sessions, and then I, I, I called a friend of mine called Shea Pope, who's a you know very known music producer. And I, I called Shea. I'm like, yo, we're, we're making a Swedish House Mafia album. Do you have anything that like stands out that had character and like something? It doesn't have to be someone big or known or like whatever. Like we need character and like heart. And he was like, yo, there's this girl in town. You should see her. And Connie came in, you know, super nervous. We were in a huge studio and it was her first experience in the studio, in, in such a big environment, you know. And I, I get her, you know, there's a couple guys there and like she feels a little nervous and she's like, you know, bumping heads to beats and like digging the stuff. And she's, she found one chord progression that we did and she was like, can I try to write on this one? And we're like, yeah, sure. And she w went to the to the recording side of, of, this, of the main room and it's such a big space, you know, it's a big live room. So... I was like, let's 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 close her in a little bit and make it more comfortable. So we kind of like shut off the whole recording room with these big soundproof walls that you can move around. And uh, we built her a little like a nook, you know. So she had her wine, a little lit candle, and you know she had some paper and pen. And we left her in there with the loop going. And then she's like, okay, I'm ready. Oh and we were God. like, okay. and then she just recorded the whole song. And for us, it was like it was such an incredible moment you know yeah everything about the song is so incredible how long did it take for you guys to finish it um i mean we started she she did the whole song in the beginning you know so it was like it was pretty fast and then after like you know a couple of weeks we knew like the direction we wanted to go and, and just go for it you know well, congratulations on the massive success of the song. It's so incredible. Congratulations Thanks. on Paradise again and, of course, the world tour coming up. Steve, thank you for taking us on the yeah. hike in Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my God, that is so beautiful. I'm so jealous of you right now. Yeah. Thank you for having oh, And thanks for supporting. You know, it means a lot to us. When we, when we come to town, uh, you should come and join us. It's going to be incredible seeing you guys again. Steve Angelo, thank you for your time on America's Dance 30. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you guys soon.